Hey you guys, this is Nicole. Welcome to a day in the life of a hospice volunteer. If you're new here, I'm so happy that you're with us. So today, I'm going to take you with me through all of my steps that I do to prepare for my visit and also take you with me on the actual visit because when I got ready for this particular day, I was not expecting what actually happened. So, um, so I'm really happy that I get to share it with you in real time. Right now, I am gonna go ahead and load up my car because do you wash your own car? If you do, drop an emoji in the comments or drop a comment in the comments and let me know if you do because when I got this car, I told my husband like, no, I am not gonna trust anyone else to wash it. And not even that, wait, hold on. These are my dogs. There's the Marcus, um, that's the big one. And there's Mozzie, that's the little one. Mozzie is not our dog. He belongs to my daughter. But um, apparently we are in some type of puppy share program. So Mozzie is usually with us all the time. Now, when I get prepared to go on my visits, one thing I must always have is something of interest on it must be bright it must inspire happiness and joy and sometimes I'm gonna wear something bright on top and today I decided to put on one of my favorite pair of sneakers um, and hoping that maybe one of the residents will notice now to be fair not every resident that I do visit has the ability to focus on different things you know but for those that can, I'm hoping that this will bring some fun. So now I have my water, sunglasses, cell phone, and I'm ready to take my show on the road. I go, I get there by 1030 and I lead the residents through chair fitness programs, which is really cool, especially for people who live with dementia, because it helps to be able to get them to move body parts that are not getting that much activity. You know what I mean? I'm excited. It is Tuesday morning. I am going to give my friends in the facility the greatest like one hour or 90 minutes of their lives. Before we move forward, I just want to make sure that you and I can have a conversation before you see what happens next. For starters, I don't want you to feel that anything you're going to see is going to trigger any ill feelings or any emotions from having lost a loved one or from another past trauma. If you feel that seeing people in a memory care environment would trigger those emotions, I want to just let you know what is about to happen. But I also want to share with you what hospice really is. I personally love hospice. And I say that as someone who has lost several relatives who were on hospice. One of those relatives was my mother. She died in 2016. And right at the end, I would say five days before she transitioned is when her doctor decided or whatever, whoever were the people managing her health at the time because I was not the main person. It was about five days before she died that her doctor put her on hospice services. And I even asked the doctor, cause he told me, he said, well, your mom, you know, is gonna go on hospice. And I was just like, what does that mean? Cause I honestly didn't know. And at the time I just thought, I didn't know if it was a physical location or, or what. I knew that it meant death was imminent. Well, fast forward a few more years, my husband's mom, she too was at the end of her life and she went on to hospice. And I think that it was her journey that was the first one that kind of gave me a better idea of what hospice was because on the day that she died, I wasn't with my husband when it happened. And one of the first people to show up to support my husband was someone from the hospice team. So when I decided to volunteer, at the end of 2023, hospice was right on top of that list. I will never forget how comforting it was for me to know when I was speaking to my husband, when he was in emotional distress, 
and he felt comforted and supported because someone was there from hospice. I was so comforted to know that he had that support. I never forgot that and that was pretty much my goal when I wanted when I decided to be a hospice volunteer. I wanted to be that person to offer that support to people in need. Hospice is not what I thought it was at all. Hospice is actually a level of service. It is a service that is offered to people who are facing the end of life or who have a diagnosis for something that traditional hospitals can no longer treat or cure. Not everyone who is receiving hospice services is necessarily on their way to transition. I've actually visited several patients by now who have been on hospice services, receiving hospice care for a couple of years. But what I wanna share with you right now in this moment is that hospice care, when it was created by design, is a holistic support system for the person and also for their loved ones. But what happens is a person receives hospice services and with that service, that patient will receive a team of people to support them and it's called an interdisciplinary team. And on that team, you have your medical doctor, you have a registered nurse, you have a chaplain, you have a social worker, you have a home health aide or a CNA, you have a volunteer, which is where I fall in, and you may have other people on the team. I'm just talking off the top of my head. And of all the people on the interdisciplinary team, the volunteer is actually the only person who shows up to support your loved ones without getting paid. Hopefully, that's because the person in that position really wants to be there because it's heart-centered for them. Now, I can't speak for every volunteer, but I can certainly speak for myself because I have been volunteering for almost a year now. And one of the reasons why I absolutely love hospice is because I have a better idea of what the service actually is, and I don't think there is a more humane way to, to support someone during a time in their lives where most of us, all of us, are fearful of and have very little knowledge about. In one of the agencies that I am with, I go see two patients who receive their services. Hospice services can be administered wherever the patient lives, and it just so happens that these two patients live in an assistant living facility in memory care because they both have dementia. When I go to visit them, I usually sit in a group setting, um, you know, because it's a group of people. I lead them through some exercises. So even though I'm a volunteer to lead them through these group activities, anytime that I show up, I always read the room and I kind of get a sense of how people are feeling because some days are better than others. And on this particular visit, I actually had a visit that I was not expecting, something that has never happened to me before, and I happened to catch it all on my camera. This is truly the most beautiful hospice visit I have ever had. And I pray that seeing this moment will give you hope, put a smile in your heart, and will inspire you to give to a loved one. Just love on a loved one. If you or your loved one has any questions about anything regarding hospice or dementia or caregiving, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you. And if I don't know the answer, I am pretty sure I can point you in a direction to find it. So enjoy. Thank you. Oh, blue. Blue together. Blue together. Red together. Blue together. Red together. Blue together, red together. Really nice. And we can stack them too. Okay, so it goes like that.
So I want it. I want to. I want to color your leaves green. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you having a good day so far? It looks like it. I know everyone is happy to see you. I can't really see the um, leaves, you guys. I don't have on my reading glasses. Oh. I know I can't. I if I don't have my glasses on, I can't see them either. I mean, I can see them, but not in detail. No, Simone, you don't have to worry about this for many, 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 many years. <laughs> I, I wear glasses, but I just don't wear them. Oh, really? Yeah. So you don't need your glasses? No, I don't think. Girl, I can't. I can't walk away. Your doctor thinks you need your glasses? They said I need it because I have headache, often headache. But I'm blind as a bat. I still... How many I, hands? Look, look. <laughs> oh, no, you're OD now. Look, early classes ain't no good, girl. All the balance making it work. <laughs> one, I, day, one day ain't gonna make it. I used to have um, contact lenses. I wear contact lenses. And I used to have contact lenses where the bottom half were readers, right? It was strong oh, enough for me to read. But then... I have a different optometrist now, and she's not really good at her job. So now, she, I'm back in my reading glasses. Aww. Yeah, it sucks. Some more. But it's whatever. I don't care. Right here. So now, I am going to fill this color in. And maybe we should do your favorite color. Maybe we'll fill it in with your favorite color. Why not? What is your favorite color? No, oh, you, you, your favorite color? Hers, oh. purple. <laughs> you been around those too long. Is that it? You like purple? What color is your favorite color? <laughs> if, if I would say, if I would say, I would say green. She loves green. Green, yeah, that's a beautiful color. I'm joking. <laughs> you should tell me I'm, I'm just being a hater. Who is that cute little girl? Um, Come on. Okay. I'm not sure. Who is who is the little um our little visitor friend? I'm coming. That's her I'm coming. son. I'm coming. Miss Gigi. What's up, Miss Oh, that's Miss Gigi's son. Yes, he's visiting and he's helping us today. Well, he Helping us today. <laughs> He's helping us, yeah. We are so lucky to have so much help. Your turn or my turn? My turn or your turn? My daughter's coming to work with me one day. She was like, uh-uh, I'm not coming back. Oh, my God. They take me back. Oh, my gosh. I have to take her to the doctor. Okay. Both papers. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. I can try. How about if we do this? I love that. I love that. I love all the colors. Is that better? It's okay. It's okay? Okay, let me try something else. It's not, it's not it's two sheets. Right. And we want enough. We don't want to have nothing to do with each other no more. What do you think about that? But I still love you though. Do you love me? Of course. For how long? Oh, oh, couple seconds. Oh, oh my God! You just won my heart. We love you, Anne. Oh, <laughs> we love you. Look at that face. You give me a nice, warm heart. But do you really need it? Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 Here you go, Miss Delia. You are so welcome. 
There you go. Be careful. Okay. They look just alike, but this one is yours. You're so welcome. Yeah, you got to be careful. You can't walk around without your wheels, right? You want to be safe. Yeah. I like your shoes, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. These are like my favorite shoes. Oh, and no doubt why. Because you can see them day and night. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they're so bright, right? Indeed, they are. Yeah. They're not going to bother anything. No, they're not going to bother anything. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Delia. Thank you. Um, let me walk with you. Let me help you to your seat. I'll see you soon. Okay. We are going to walk right over here. Okay. And this way you can, yeah, we're going to walk right over here. And then we'll be going to lunch soon. Okay. Are you having a good day? I did. Good. We always want you to have a good day. So far, so good. So far, so good. Well, that's what counts. So far, so good. So, what you can do, we can sit right here. Oh, no, no, not that chair, no. You want to keep going? Okay. Here we go. We're going to go this way. Here it is. Yep. Here it is. Yep. Here it is. She One second. As far as, um, We're gonna keep going this way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait one second. Okay, there we go. Find me one like that. I don't know. My sister bought that. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Miss Delia is making it. Isn't it? Oh, right. We are on our way. All right. Okay. Have to push them in the right direction. Yep. Miss Delia is on her way. She looks like she's making it. Okay. Great. Great. going to fill this color in 